Madam President. Senator from Kentucky. Yesterday I spent a considerable time, amount of time on the floor talking about uh, the idea of whether or not Americans are protected by the Fifth Amendment always, whether or not uh, you can be targeted for drone strikes in America without your due process rights, whether you get your day in court if you're accused of a crime in America. And I asked this question, question directly to the President, and I'm pleased to say that we did get a response this morning. The response from the Attorney General reads, it has come to my attention that you have a question. Does the president have the authority to use a weaponized drone to kill an American not engaged on combat on American soil? The answer to that question is no. So it has taken a while, but we got an explicit answer. I'm pleased that we did, and to me, I think the entire battle was worthwhile. One, because we got to have a lot of discussion about you know, when can drones be used, particularly when can a drone strike be used against an American on American soil. The reason this is important is often drones are used overseas towards people who are not actively engaged in combat. Now, I'm not saying they're not bad people or they might have previously been in combat, but the thing is we have to have a higher standard in our country. We can't have an allegation from the country that says you're an enemy combatant or that you're associated with terrorism. That's an allegation. If you're emailing somebody who's a relative of yours in the Middle East and they may or may not be a bad person, it doesn't automatically make you guilty. If we label you an enemy combatant and say you're guilty, you don't get your day in court, and that's just not American. We have many soldiers from my state, from Fort Campbell and Fort Knox, that fight overseas for us. They're fighting for the Bill of Rights. They're fighting for the Constitution. So I consider it to be our duty to stand up and fight for something that we all believe in, and that's that the protections of the Bill of Rights are yours. When you're accused of something, you get your day in court. So I'm very pleased to have gotten this response back from the Attorney General of the United States, and I think that... Americans should see this battle that we've had in the last 24 hours as something that's good for the country and something that should not unite Republicans and Democrats in favor of the Bill of Rights. Thank you, Madam President.